Not a bad start from Jen Brady. An ace to open proceedings. Out. Jen Brady does lead most of the service stats coming into this match. Big knee bend, drive up to the ball. Out. Fourteen. It's worth noting that so far in this tournament, Brady has struck 110 winners, including 24 aces. Excellent okay, first service now. game. Oh. It's been a terrific start from Brady. Yes, and Michael Gersra is the coach, and Love Daniel that. Pohl is her uh, strength and conditioning coach he also is a physio and does the massage as well so he's all three That's a transition that we were talking about from Mukaba at every opportunity. 15, if she can sense that her opponent is on stretch, she's prepared to move forward. And Jen Brady would have known this before going into the match, so made sure that she dipped that slice low enough over the net. It's quality. Wonderful inside out forehand, so quick to get into position. 15, 14. Brad was talking about the improved physicality from Brady, and in order to hit a forehand from that far into the backhand side, you need quick feet and real intent. Early opportunity for Brady to make a statement. And it's been an outstanding start from Brady. She's been on song to love. And Brady leads to again. Looks like uh, Daniel Pohl, the uh, physio. So hard to tell with the masks. Jeff, it's not hard to find Daniel. Just look for the arms. Hey, Jen Brady has started amazingly well down here. She's hitting the ball so clean right now even the one return that she missed was right on the screws just caught the tape how helpful is it from the perspective of brady having already been to, into a grand slam semi-final as opposed to look of it i think incredibly helpful Please leave the other. Motivated to go one better. And she's excited. She spoke in her interview after the match, talking about having a crowd today. Yeah. 
She can be quite animated out on court. And it really feeds from the energy of a crowd. Mentioned she leads all the stats service-wise. She served 24 aces prior to today's match as opposed to Mukova's 16. First serve points won 80 percent to Mukova's 61 percent. <laughs> keep the umpire awake. And she hasn't yeah. found a range yet, Carolina Mukova, which was certainly the situation yesterday. This is a, a late hit, and look out. <laughs> um, guys, got to be alert. Quick reactions. Even that, that's just a great example of the variety and the confidence from Brady. We know that she can bang down first serves over 180, but on that occasion, mixing the first serve as a second serve speed. Finals of the Grampians Trophy, an event played here in Melbourne as a lead up tournament. It was for all those women who were in the hard lockdown, as it's called. Jeff mentioning that hard lockdown for Jen Brady. I think one of the things that gives you a little insight into her mentality and what she's like as a person is the fact that she never complained one time about being on that hard lockdown. And in fact, yeah. she talked about the fact that she had a bike, she had some other exercise equipment, she was able to get some work in and just embraced it. and got the most out of what she had available to her and it's paid off to get her here. Couldn't agree more. Game. Well, out of the blue, an errant serve. Bukova is back, 2-1. We've spoken a lot about the winners that Brady has hit on her racket. The number to keep an eye on as well as the number of unforced errors needs to continue to build points. Play the right shots. signs from Mukova in her match yesterday against Ash Barty. She struggled with That's the okay. forehand, particularly the forehand down the line. She went down early in the first set against Ash Barty for love. Was really struggling with her range. Much better today. about Mukova yesterday was her emotional control. She was trailing 6-1 to love. But you wouldn't have known it looking at it unless you really looked into her eyes and saw that physically she might have been struggling. But she did a magnificent job emotionally.
game. Started off brilliantly, oh. but uh, the last couple of games, a few more errors have on. struck in to her game. So back on level terms to all. Nicole has mentioned how Mukova will like to come forward. During the tournament thus far, she's come to the net 100 times and won 61% of those ventures. Fifteen. So Brady will be keen not to allow that to happen. And so far she's playing so aggressively. The opportunities for Mukova have been limited. Guys, we see there the capabilities of Mukova, the slice backhand. The first one she chose to play from that position was very penetrating, stayed low, and the second one more defensive, but still great depth on that ball. Her variety is really important and impressive. That's five unforced errors now off the side, off the forehand side. Brady just pressing, jumping at that ball a little too much. Out. Thirteen. Nicole, that comment is perfect timing. You just, from down here, you sense that Jenny Brady is really trying to be physical and take it to Mukaba early here in the match, but just pressing a little bit on some of those forehands, losing a bit of balance here and there. You can see the expression on her face asking, what am I doing? And just trying to overplay the last backhand. Yeah, 
just being overly aggressive. It's a style of play that she likes for all her matches so far. 70% of all her points have been won or lost in the first four strikes. So she likes to take control and take control early. Very wayward, and that, that is uh, 14. Not sort of result that endears a lot of confidence. It missed by meters. Excellent overhead. Very comfortable in the front part of the court. Three all. Three games on his own. With Mukova, I feel like she has a at the moment a measured aggression. Versus Brady is literally trying to blast her opponent off the court. And by having that mentality, she's making too many unforced errors. Fifteen. Small opening now for Mokova, 15.30. Time and time again, we have seen from Jen Brady, the serve coming up trumps to allow her the short ball. Backhand winner stays nice and low through contact. It's being rewarded there, Brady, for being a little bit more patient. A little heavier ball there as well, Jeff. It's really evident down here the difference in the spin rotation and type of ball that each of the players hit. Jen Brady's ball with much more shape and rotation. Mugova flatter and through the court more. That last forehand was really well shaped, a heavy ball. Game 
Much more measured aggression from Brady, and with it, she takes the lead, 4-3. No. I went heavy on the sunscreen, Jeff. Not as quick as Brady, but certainly well directed, to say the least, on the line. When the first serve goes in, Mukaba very successful, winning 73% of points, 8 of 11. Stein was talking about the difference in the ball speed, and there's another example. That ball was hit very flat off the forehand side of Mukova. Not the same net clearance as Brady. She says, I got a little lucky on that one. So business end approaching here now, and Brady's going Four to need to on. rein in some of those unforced errors. Very subtle indeed from Mukova. Fantastic court craft from Mukova. She has very good touch and feel, and that's an example. On the back foot, off the backhand, just rolling the wrist for the passing shot. how quickly Jen Brady asked for the balls and stepped into that point. Obviously, I'm wrong, though, with that first serve. She played very fast after that point. And again here, Mukova actually holding her up. First and second serve, be quiet, thank you. Catching the tape on that last forehand, Mukova. What's really interesting, Jeff, you said that Mukova had 
been to the net 100 times in her last five matches. So she's averaging 20 points. Right now, we're, all, we're getting to the end of the first set and she's only been to the net four times. So that's due to Brady being aggressive, taking control. Again, Brady. from both players. Mukaba showing creativity in the middle of this rally with a sort of slice drop shot short. But Brady, fantastic foot speed and good control when she got there. Coach David Cortiza. He's, uh, Cortiza's had success with so many of the Czech players, not the least of which was Petra Kvitova. So she's uh, solo here this week. get the feet where they needed to be. 15, 13. Some reaching for the ball. The air has come. Very different approach from Mukova being down in this game. In comparison to Brady in the last where she was playing fast, Mukova went back into the shade, took a little extra time, turned her back to the court. Well, she's definitely maximizing the 25 seconds in between points. Aggressive return back up the middle of the court, which is so effective. Server still recovering from landing after the delivery. So set point now for Brady. A double fault, your first of the set. Brady takes the opening set, 6-4. Guys, we see the mental challenges of playing tennis at this level and when the bar's been raised to this point, playing a semi-final in a grand slam with an opportunity to make a final. For these two girls, neither of whom have been there before. And you just saw Mukova at the end of that set just kind of succumb to the pressure, not be able to execute. to say she was waiting on that serve prepared early timed it perfectly
third ace of the match for Brady. Still some work to do, 15.40. Very good start for Mukaba on her own service game to start the second Seven. set. Consol trying to consolidate the break. I guess if we use the term sometimes, you've, you've got to earn the right. And sometimes for me, Brady just doesn't earn the right to go for some of these outright winners. A core position's not good enough. Needs to work to get into those positions, perhaps a little better sometimes. Good defence from Lukova, so it's been... Perfect start for her in the second set. Good to see the movement forward from Brady. That ball just skipping through on the fast hard courts. Second serve from Brady. 15. Good speed, 157 kilometres an hour out wide. Showing her athleticism, physicality. Out. A very strong and athletic woman. Dad was a uh, professional footballer in the Czech Republic. And I saw her warming up outside just before coming up here towards the middle part of the second set of the match prior to this. She was out in the sunshine doing her work. I think uh, her trainer wanted her to feel comfortable in the sun. She was doing lots of relatively aggressive run-throughs. Yeah. 
Guys, you just get the feeling down here that both these players are competing against the same player right now. Mukova playing Jen Brady and Jen Brady trying to compete against herself down here, finding her game, just struggling a bit. And you can, she wears her emotions on her sleeve a little bit. You can see her reactions and facial expressions. She's fun to watch at times, but struggling right now. is well, very salient. There seems to be quite a discrepancy, I think, Brady, between Brady's best and her, uh, her worst, so to speak, as opposed to Mukova, whose uh, who's highs and lows are not too uh, far apart. Sentiments there, Jeff. That's only the second forehand winner off the racket of Jen Brady. However, there's been 11 unforced errors on that side. need to risk as much as she does. Certainly. We've been talking about Mukova being more of the measured player, moving the ball around, and, and at times, Brady, she just gets overexcited and wants to blast it, and there's greater risk. Just feel from Mukova's perspective, she's got to be really determined to defend as much as possible, make Brady play one extra shot. and overhead. Such a reliable shot. In this set, she's won every first serve point when it's gone in. What a change up there causing Certainly. Brady to struggle with the timing on the return. In fact, it's the only point she's lost on serve this second set.
Let us preserve. Well-constructed point again from Mukova. One area of the game that I believe has really improved is the serving in the women's game. The ability to hit with good speed, different variety, particularly the second serve. Again, getting through her service games in the second set comfortably, 4-2. Four, four games to two. Guys, Karolina Mukova is just a study in efficiency down here. Her mechanics in every aspect, forehand, backhand, serve, every, everything, the volleys when she comes forward, are just very simple. Not a lot to go wrong within her game. We just keep her her mind confident and comfortable as we get to the pressure ends of these sets and through the match. She's going to have a great chance to, to close this set out. She'll be disappointed with this returning effort, Mukova. Let's press our Please. Wait, please. Let's. Second serve. Brady received what she wanted, the forehand. She loves that shot from the backhand side of the court. We've seen a few times just overpressing. Measured forehand on that occasion from Brady, still staying, staying in touch. 4 3 Mukova. Although it's a weapon, the forehand side for Brady, at times she just over rotates on the balls, tries to snatch at it, and then misses her contact point. Out. 
They're just low percentage shots, aren't they? She's pushed wide and deep and has tried to go aggressively down the line. That's uh, just too much risk involved for a little reward. Excellent hands. That's just someone who's comfortable with the front part of the court and has worked on the reactions as well. I love this type of point from Mokova. Serve and volley. Good hands on the half volley. And then just absorb the pace of Brady on that last backhand volley. Sensational stuff. needs to uh, understand a little bit of what's happening here. She's not putting any pressure on the Mukova second serve. In fact, Mukova has not dropped a point on a second serve in this set. That's a statistic that is uh, very, very unusual. Tried to be a little bit too cute at the end. Terrific point, though. Guys, I love the play from Mukaba there on that first point up a break, taking that return, coming forward, putting some pressure early, trying to get a quick point off the serve of Jen Brady. on the forehand side starting to come together for Brady. That's confidence. Yeah, and it's building pressure, isn't it? On an opponent who's behind on the scoreboard, letting them know that they need to do better than that. That's a very good second serve from 14, Jen Brady. Able to get hop from the kicker out wide, up and out of the strike zone of Mukova. Awesome for Mukova. Wonderful defense initially. 47. There's a lot to like about Mukova. Efficiency of shot, competitiveness. I think we're really seeing Carolina Mukova 
create a scenario where she's forcing Jen Brady to go for more. We, we talked about how Jen Brady was struggling to find her game, but even the last point on the deuce side, serving to the backhand rather than forehand, Mukova hurt her on the forehand a couple times, and that last rally to the ad side. Brady going with a little bit more rotation on the ball, making the balls in court, but then gets beat on the back end down the line. Great forehand return from Mukova gives her a set point. way to lose a set a double fault as was the case with Mukova in the first set we're tied one set apiece Jeff, you Second said it's a sprint to the finish here. I have the feeling that it's a little bit like the, the tortoise and the hare out here. Mukova being the tortoise, just staying the course, constant in what she's doing. Jen Brady looking a little bit rushed, trying to make things happen too much. And it's going to be interesting to see if she can find her game as the match continues. Mukova starting this third set in the same fashion as most of the second set. Three quick points in succession. Bringing a lot of variety to this match at the moment, Mukova and Brady. She's not okay. dealing with it particularly well, so she's going to need to rethink things, Brady. Fortunate, but good variety again from Mukova. Forehand, three quarter cross court. Mukova on the stretch and Brady doing the right thing following it forward, but did not have to hit the volley.
15. We've spoken about the conditions for this match. The on-court temperature is extremely hot. I just love yeah. the way that it's a real physical contest out there as well. Both players going for every possible ball. One game off. Trying to make their opponent play one extra. Bit of measured aggression for me in that game from Brady. Quite prepared to hit two or three with shape and reasonable width, but not too close to the line to be able to finally get the put away shot. So that's what she needs to be just doing a little bit more of. Real chance now for Brady. Hasn't been close to breaking serve at all in the second set, other than that first service game. Sort of measured aggression of someone who is comfortable at the front part of the court. Just try and overplay this shot. She's got a lot of space. She's prepared to sort of set her opponent up with a sort of a jab to the midsection and then the knockout punch. It's the way to go. for a little much, so she's in trouble here now. We'll give her a couple of errant forehands. As we often see in tennis, it's not necessarily one player taking the opportunity here, it's the other giving it away a bit. Mukove just donating three points in this game. There's another one, so that's a gift game, and Brady will take it with glee. Two one, she leads. Aggressive play from Brady. Fifteen. Net points one. Starting to increase. Oh. It's a bit awkward there at the moment, the ball coming out of the sun into the shade on that return for Mukova. Seemed to mistime it, misjudge the flight. Now Jennifer Brady making the most <laughs> of the previous gift given to her by Mukova. This has been Excellent game from her. And again, 
this time you turn completely from Muka. But Brady, she settled down. She slowed down a little bit. She's more measured with her aggression. Big change in her body language as well, Jeff. Shoulders back, head up. She's walking very purposefully, just sending a message right now. She looks like she's ready for the fight and loving being out here right now. It's a good change up from Mukova. We've seen her routinely in this match when she's had the opening to use the down the line forehand on that occasion. Going back in behind. Not a lot in this match at all. So close. As far as points one, in fact, Mukuba is in the lead, 63 points to 58 in this match so far. Just again shows you it's not how many you win, it's when you win them. Much better game from Mukuba. She's still in touch. Brady, though, 3 2. Fifteen confident start for Brady on her own service game. Number of forehands there, hit with margin, shape, good speed. Wonderful depth. Certainly. Pace and depth will get the job done. No, 
that's high risk, and particularly at this stage of the match. 14. Guys, before that last point, Mukova showed the first sign of emotion. She hit her racket against her left hand and very quietly said, come on. Outrageous. Good serving from Brady. Lots of first serves, big first serves, measured aggression. Getting close to that finishing line. Four games to Again, if she keeps doing what she's doing on serve, then she's going to be tough to beat in this third set. She's only lost two points on serve thus far. Bulls. Fortunately. It's interesting, Mukova has not lost that many points on serve either. She's only lost six points on serve in this third set, but it was the game at one all where she just literally gifted the break to Brady. So it's also when you lose those points. Very important. This is a lot better from Brady, though. She's much more measured at the moment, waiting her opportunity. As we mentioned earlier, she's starting to earn the right. Always has a little glance up at the serve clock, does Mukova. Shot to the last minute, and Brady had committed to run cross court. So, four three. Tell us that. 73 metres covered.
Excellent serve. Lukova was leaning to her right. What a response after that previous point, guys. Taking a time more now as well. Good signs for her. She's had to be very alert. I think they'll be giving the umpire a helmet at some stage. It's been a number of times this match. This has been a really good game from Brady. Tough. 14. Well, she said she needed the time at college to mature. But since coming out onto the tour, we're starting to see that real maturity in the way that she's playing in these big moments. Gerser and physio, strength and conditioning coach Daniel Pohl. So pressure back on Mook over here now. to Mook about that last point. She was gutsy with the second serve out wide and then going toe to toe from the baseline and then eventually being able to force the error from the racket of Brady. Serve only 116 kilometers an hour. Yeah, I think it's, if she's choosing, I think, to just change it up a bit. The second serve she hit was quicker, 123 k's an hour. So I don't think she's ailing. I think it's a, a choice. Brady, well, this set has been fantastic. She's made 34 unforced errors in the match, but only four in this entire set. This has been way and above her best set, much more measured, controlled. Is she going to 
get the rewards. Started to come in then did Mukova and that forced Brady to endeavour to do more. Good strategy from Mukova who's still thinking her way through the situation. Only two points away from a place in the final of the Australian Open Women's Singles Championship. Six kilometers an hour. 15. That is just three shy of her quickest of the day. She's pumped. Oh, and another one. She is very hyped up. 181. And out wide. That's hard to do. Shot deserving of a match point situation. Where is she going to 
endeavour to go. Somebody upstairs, Juice. down here as big and important and close as that ball was on that last match point just didn't like her reaction too much going to the ground here we see her she's just so on edge right now please oh it's a let off from Luke of her that's as much emotion as we've seen from her, not just today, Jesus. but all tournament. Didn't move the feet, tension aplenty. Another let off. Wow, guys. Wow. Those two points from the ad side with break point opportunities from Mocha are just absolutely shocking given the score and the situation and it's given Jen Brady a chance twice to kind of regather herself you can see she's a little bit calmer but she's got to manage these situations a little bit better emotionally Jennifer Brady. to do that when you've missed two backhand returns prior is impressive. Mm -hmm. 
Alexander. I've very rarely seen her miss a smash throughout this tournament. Brady, the mind is racing. She's emotional. And she's facing a breakback point again. Serve has deserted it. Just... The pulse rates of both these women. Absolutely skyrocketing. Surely this has been the longest game for the match. Juice number five. Giving herself another opportunity here. Match point number four. again on this match point. Oh, it's long. Interesting to see Brady not prepared to take the overhead on. Surely this time, match point number five. It's long. Jennifer Brady, surely the longest 12 minutes of her life, but she gets there. 6-4 in the final set.